hold up. Isn't there a law against this? Man, turn around. Hello and welcome back all you beautiful 153,000 subscribers. Well, a few thousand of you anyway. But today we're all gonna have a hearty laugh over New Mexico's authoritarian Democrat governor who has, without the power to do so, suspended the constitution and gun rights laws over what she calls an emergency. How declaring this fake emergency and taking away everyone's gun rights is gonna accomplish anything is anyone's guess. Yes, um, all the examples you cited are crimes. Kids shooting at other kids, shooting from cars, so what's the value of the civil order? Why not just do better law enforcement? Both. The value of the order is, is that I'm, I, it gives me three things. One, it says it's a statewide issue and it's a message to everyone to start leveraging your resources and arresting people. Who are they going to arrest? Law-abiding people? As I'm going to show you here in a minute, the problem is gang violence. And as the reporter tried to point out to her, there's already laws against gang violence. Stop stalling out and to your point, just arrest everyone. Well. I also have to have the ability, I can't arrest everyone. There are literally too many people to arrest. <laughs> oh my God. It sounds like she just wants to start rounding up law-abiding gun owners. This is what I've been telling you about. They're trying to criminalize their opposition. And this is the point. I, I, I'm willing to do anything and everything. So, but your point is valid. You took an oath to the Constitution. Isn't it unconstitutional to say you cannot exercise your, your carry license? with one exception. Oh, that was different. And that is, if there's an emergency, and I've declared an emergency for a temporary amount of time, I can invoke additional powers. No constitutional right, in my view, including my oath, is intended to be absolute. Excuse me. What? No, actually, your oath to the Constitution is absolute. That's literally the entire point of an oath. If you could just carve out an exception for yourself to get out of that oath, then an oath wouldn't really mean much, would it? If people are wondering why police officers are the way they are these days, with most thinking that constitutional rights are a big joke, or that their oath to the Constitution was just some words that they repeated, then look no further than this insurrectionist Democrat as Exhibit A. This woman has no power to do what she's doing. So we can all expect the FBI to roll up any minute now, guns blazing to arrest her, right? No, you idiot! This is where something very interesting happens. Ted Lieu, one of the most obnoxious far left Democrats in Congress, actually stands up to wannabe Castro. I support gun safety laws. However, this order from the governor of New Mexico violates the US Constitution. No state in the union can suspend the federal constitution. There is no such thing as a state public health emergency exception to the US Constitution. Weird, where was Ted Lieu during the COVID lockdowns and mandates? A Democrat standing up for open and concealed carry rights against another Democrat. It's just weird. I'm surprised to see it at all, much less from Ted Lieu and neither was Governor Grimace, apparently, because she immediately responded with this. Hey, Ted, conceal and open carry are state laws that I have jurisdiction over. <laughs> if you're really interested in helping to curb gun violence, I'd welcome you to join our next police academy class. <laughs> Given her apparent ignorance of the Constitution and her oath to it, I don't really think she should be lecturing people about taking classes. So I'm not an expert on this. However, a quick search shows me that 42 states can give governors emergency powers to suspend laws, which probably have to be actual emergencies and not just an excuse to get rid of rights you don't like. But New Mexico is apparently not one of them. Now, just real quick, I want to address the logic of suspending these laws and how that would actually affect the gun violence problem in New Mexico. Yes, New Mexico has the seventh highest rate of gun violence in the country, but what they don't tell you is that one, that's mostly suicides, and two, the other chunk is due to black and Hispanic gang violence, which is precisely why woke foot soldiers like Grissom are deflecting away from the actual source of this gun violence and redirecting it back onto law-abiding citizens who are just exercising their rights to defend themselves and their families. Something Democrats like her don't want you to be able to do for some strange reason. If only they would have left some sort of clue. 
Also, in this context where suicides and gang violence are the top sources of gun violence, what sense does it make to suspend conceal and carry gun laws? A criminal who's willing to kill people is gonna conceal and carry no matter what the laws are. It's not like gangs are gonna be like, Damn, wait up. I heard there's a law against this. It's not the law abiding people you have to worry about, but that's exactly who authoritarian Democrats are concerned about. There were some other great responses to the governor on Twitter, like from Stephen Miller, who said, she does not have any governing authority to spend any state laws, proven here by her very own usage of their definition. She should be removed. Dana Loesch said, Bruin says otherwise, you tyrant. You're not interested in curbing anything. If you were, you would have acted when your Albuquerque DA dismissed repeat offender cases, while the mayor gave tax money to Democrat supporters instead of answer local business calls for expanded police. Also, if she really believed that she had jurisdiction, she wouldn't have strawmanned a weak public emergency justification to do it. She's the type of politician that our founders warned us about. As soon as I heard about this, I posted on Twitter that I thought people should defy her edict in mass, and it appears that we we all had the same thought with protests breaking out and police unwilling to enforce the illegal suspension of the law. Looks like we need some Republican DAs to get busy writing up indictments for this insurrectionist in the governor's office. Let me know what you all think in the comments. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and make sure to leave that comment. I'll see you all in the next one.